Hello, it's Mark from MC Electrical, uh, and this little clip is to be watched in conjunction with a case study that I've done about which way is a better way to face your panels, be it north or east and west. Now, it's pretty clear in Brisbane that if you want to get the most production out of your solar panels all year round, the best place to face them is north, and in fact north at about 27 uh, degrees. Now, the reason for this is that Mr. Sun here gets up in the morning, he rises, comes over, and you get quite good exposure to the sun there and sets in the west. That's sort of middle mid season, sort of um, springtime and that. Now, but in winter, he'll rise really low in the sky and set really low here. So, in the average time of year, your, the sun is passing at around about 90 degrees to your solar panels, which is where your solar panels work the best. Uh, now, so that's all good and fine if you um, are looking for maximum production from your solar panels throughout the year. But since the end of the 44 or 52 cent feed-in tariff in Queensland, we're not necessarily looking for the most production but we're looking for production at the right time of day. So the theory goes, you're better off to put your panels over here, east and west. And the reason for that is pretty simple. The sun gets up in the morning, it's sort of seven o'clock in the morning, it's facing the panels, eight o'clock, you've got a fairly good angle to the panels and the panels are performing quite well. They start up a bit earlier. By lunchtime, they're not performing as well, but that's okay. You never really wanted five kilowatts when you're out at work anyway. And coming over to the afternoon when you get home uh, and you're turning on the air conditioner, your western panels kick in and you're producing power earlier in the morning and later in the afternoon. Now that theory is all good and well and I've drawn it down a million times. Um, to explain to customers, but how much, how well does it add up in the real world? First, I'll show you the diagram that I've done to explain that, about, explain the power curves uh, from your east and west panels versus your north, and um, we'll look at it a little bit further after that. So the simplistic way of looking at it is this. Your panels start on the northern roof, not so early in the morning, but then they, grad they steeply increase, get to five kilowatts, might plateau there for a little while, and then they go down until you get to six o'clock at night and they shut down a little bit early. However, on the east-west roof, your panels start up a little bit earlier. They don't get to five kilowatts possibly, but they finish a lot later. So at these times in the morning, when you're using your power, and these times in the afternoon, you're producing more power on an east-west array. So that's all good in theory, uh, and it makes sense that you might want to place your panels east and west. Um, but as it turns out, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, and over the last 12 months, we've been monitoring most of the systems that we install on our Fronius Inverter and we can, we've collected a lot of data that we can compare jobs. So we've put together two jobs that we've done, one that was facing almost perfectly north and one that was facing east-west and we've run some figures and done some graphs um, and I've done a little report about it to show you uh, whether it is actually better to place your panels uh, north or east and west when you're on a low feed-in tariff. Thanks for listening.